Greetings of the day everyone. So I have started a new playlist to teach or to talk to you about Excel because I've been using Excel for quite some time now to have some data and have some statistical insights from the data. So how I'm going to cover this is that I'm going to start literally from scratch to someone who have had no experience using Excel before. So I think um, I am talking things or teaching things about this in a way that I would tell myself, let's say in two years or four years back, what is Excel and how to use Excel for your daily, daily, daily lives to have some idea on how to see some insights about the data. So this video is going to be very, very, very simple. So I won't be using any custom functions or any other stuff. So I'm just going to be showing you all around Excel and how to use Excel. So let's dive into the video guys. We have an Excel workbook here. So the, the first thing I want to talk about is that the difference between workbooks and spreadsheets. So if you can see when you try to create a new Excel file, you will be prompt to ask something like welcome to Excel drop down. So when you see that we have an option which says blank workbook. So what does that mean? So workbook is an Excel file with an extension of XLSX. So we're using an older version of Excel. So it's going to be XLS. So workbook is an Excel file. So when you talk about sheets or spreadsheets, so this is the sheet, a single sheet. So one can say that workbook consists of multiple sheets. So, okay. So now we're talking, we are going to talk about ribbons. So ribbons are nothing but a powerful central control panel of the excels. So when you talk about ribbons, so this part other ribbons so let's say we have out of tabs file home insert page layout formula so which is a very important tab where we will be talking a lot about this stuff and in the future videos so and there's another way where you can let's say when we are new we might not know to understand all this stuff so where you can just use the search bar which says tell me what you want to do let's just say we some actions which you see is align so just type align it's going to give the necessary actions that are there so now we're going to talk about managing the sheets. So most of the time we'll be spending in home. So now let's just talk about sheets. So you can have multiple sheets here. So if you see this sheet is the sheet one this is a single sheet that I have in this workbook. I just say we rename it to our convenience. So let's say I have a business. I want to see how the business are doing. So let's just, I'm going to have uh, let's say a month plan so i'm going to say jan 2022 so this is the sheet of mine which is jan 2022 and you can just create number of sheets so by clicking here and then this is going to be the sheet two and then you can let's say i can keep for like a monthly expense plan so let's just say feb 2022 then i can just go upon moving the location play around with it so just keep jan here there's numerous options which you can go with insert delete rename you can just keep a tab for this a color for this tab or the sheet so now let's just talk about entering data which is why we use excel for an excellence way to visualize or see some statistical insights in the data that we have so let's say this is jan 2022 so let's say we have a heading says date and let's say what can we keep it let's say i have uh, say i have a business i have a couple of businesses so business one and let's say business two okay so I have say the date would be 
first month, first day, the year, and then I'll go with the second day, second day, and then I'll go about third day, and I'll go about fourth also. I just enter for four days now so just first day let's say my business made around uh, 30 bucks then for the second business let's say 50 bucks and then we'll just give some values let's say uh, 50 and 10 second day of my business didn't do that much let's say 100 and then we'll just give 30 bucks then we'll say we give 150 bucks then 50 so let's say we have you, you can just enter data just by clicking on each of the cell and then typing it so if you can see this is a name box of the cell that I am so let's say when I click here you know see it's G5 so and this is a formula bar so let's say when I click here it's going to say it has 50 value and similar to that so it, it will be much easier when you have millions of rows you can click on it and you can check here which the name of the cell that you are in so the way that this is entered is that if you can see here let's consider this to be the columns and these are the rows the columns are say numbered from alphabetical range so 8 goes on and 1 to infinite it goes on so now that we have talked about how to enter data let's just do some basic calculations i know these things can be intimidating at first but I, I promise you that when we go on to use it more we will be very very familiar with this stuff and when i talk about more advanced topics in excel so let's say we have two businesses and let's say we want to see the revenue which is being made here so let's go and have a tab which is revenue so we just go here and then this is you, you can just type the formula here or just we are starting out so we're going to use this tab which is formulas just go click and then insert function you can just uh, search for the function type a brief description of what you want to do and then click go you just click uh, you can specify whatever you want let's just say uh, total revenue of my businesses so I'm gonna go with sum so I click OK it says that the sum is the values are going to be the cell the range is B2 to C2 so to, so these are the two stuff which is going to be added so you can if you can al already see it also says the formula result which is 30 plus 50 80 so once you do that it says OK we have 80 so all we have to do to replicate here is just drag it down you can see that it's automatically saying that 30 50 is 80 and 50 plus 10 is 60 and the same for 130 and the same for 200 so if you are not getting values that are automatically being added all you have to do is you have to click here and then when upon clicking this formulas tab you can go to the calculation options and then you might be in the manual format not in the automatic so you have to click automatic so then it will be automatically re rerouted to the changes which you make if I say let's if I do let's say 31 33 it's going to be changed 30, 83 so if it's not getting changed you all have to do is you have to click here or options and then automatic so let's just do a couple of similar basic calculations for this excels let's just go with let's say uh, expense which let's say it takes as they say it to make money you have to spend money so let's just say that we spend some money setting up these businesses together so let's just say i'm going with uh let's just, let's just keep it simple let's just go with 40 and I'll just go with 30 or I'll just keep uh, 40 itself uh, so that 
because we are not going to spin every day so we'll just say 40 or less one day let's was very less 30 and then now let's just keep profit it's very simple let's just say every day we get this revenue and then so the expense we made we we need to subtract this so that we have some profit this uh, so i'll just show you how to type we'll just go to the formula bar and just equal to and then you can specify let's say you want the revenue minus expenses so let's just go with uh, so you can check the cell bar so this is d2 minus e2 so what we're going to use d minus e2 as you can see it's getting highlighted so let's say you have in a different cells you can specify that here and then once this is done you can either click enter or you can click enter in your keyboard so if you can see 83 minus 40 is as simple as 43 so now all we have to do is drag if you can see 60 minus 40 is 20 130 minus 40 is 90 200 minus that is 170 so this is how you do some basic calculations and data entering and managing sheets so this is the first set of excel videos which i'm going to be publishing soon so this is going to be very very simple so i hope we will go upon other let's say advanced medium advanced and stuff so that we get the most out of the excel so and the main reason we have to do is once we enter the data we have to save so what we can do is you can use the quick access toolbar and click save here or you as it says control s which we also have to do just click control s and it will be prompting you to a page where you specify the workbook name and once you give the name it's done and you can also share let's say you have using it in a work environment where you have one drive where you can just share with other people you can go on share this to others so this is the intro to excel for beginners so i hope i go build upon a bit more understandability of excel for you guys in the future so thank you until then be safe catch you another one guys bye bye everyone